Right now, we are in Juana Mint, right at the border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. You have already seen the news. I know you've heard about what's going on. The Haitians are building a canal. It is causing some issues with the Dominicans because we are taking water from Massacre River that is right on the border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. We both have access to this river as long as we are not using it in a way that is going to um, either send the water to another direction or also diminish the flow of the water. It is important to know that this is the very first canal that we are building on this river. While the Dominican Republic has several projects using this exact river. And so some of the days um, have been very tense because of course the Dominican authorities are against the building of this canal and so they have their troops here because they closed the border down so there is no entry into the DR by sea, by air, um, by road so that has caused some issues in this area. See the Dominican troops right behind me and um, we have our people all over here on this side there has been a lot of activity going on. I'm going to show you all everything I'm gonna walk around to see how it is. Yeah, just to uh, come here and bring my support and show my support to the Haitians building this canal. Our Haitian brothers and sisters, there are women also building this canal. So it's not just men, women are also out here helping to build this canal. And so I'm very proud to see the unity. I'm very proud to see everything that we have done so far. I'm very happy to see that we did not back down and that we are continuing on despite not having much support from our government. Uh, we are still working on this and we are still um, not letting anything stop us from completing this canal. So I'm going to show you everything that I'm able to see today. Today is September 21st, 2023. So that is what is going on as of today. When we first got here, there were two ambulances, but one left. So now there's still one here. Um, of course, it's important to have Oh no, the other ambulance is over there. I don't know if it's leaving or if it just changed position, but we have some ambulances uh, here. So we have some medical professionals here as the canal is being constructed. So that is very good news. This is where we are taking from the river to go right into the canal. I'm happy to see that we are still going strong despite the rain last night. I remember seeing images this morning that the river has entered the canal. I mean, there is water in the canal, that, that is true. But the way that the video showed, it seemed like the work was gonna be so much harder for us because the river um, came down with a lot of force. Uh, last night it was raining and it went into the canal. And so yes, there is still water in the canal, but it's not as bad as it seems. I'm so happy to see how everybody has come together to help complete this project. The diaspora donated so much. I remember um, an amazing, 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 amazing Haitian woman that you all know uh, had a fundraiser. 
On Thursday, we oversaw the delivery of six tons of iron and 1,000 sacks of cement. And this is only a part of the purchases we made this week to help support the construction of the canal in Haiti. This is all possible because of your generosity. So on behalf of everyone involved in the movement, the planning committee, the workers, the organizers, thank you. In order to ensure the highest level of accountability and transparency, Every aspect of your support is being made public. How much money you donated, how many sacks of cement have been delivered, the community and the public knows it all. That's the way it should be. For those concerned about the structural integrity of this canal, please rest assured knowing that this project has been years in the making. Under President Jovenel Moise, the proper experts were consulted to ensure that the canal meets technical standards. I'm sure you can hear the music in the background. Our ancestors' religion, the religion passed down generations and generations, generations from our ancestors has definitely been a force in building this canal because from the very first day that the Dominicans have tried to intervene or tried to stop building the canal, we saw ceremonies in the area. We saw Ujan um, coming from all over, uh, coming to perform ceremonies coming to basically protect this area, protect the canal, and also make sure that it is uh, actually built and that people are not able to stop it from being built. And so I would definitely say, this is one of the first times that I've seen a lot of Haitians agree with this because a lot of times there's this part of our culture that people really shy away from because of Christianity. And so, yeah, they don't want anything to do with it. When you see like Vuladu or you see anything like that, they're like, oh my gosh, what is this? And um, they don't want you to do it and stuff. And they, you'll see all the comments where they're, you know, sometimes saying some really mean things from people that are practicing or whatever is going on. And so this is one of the first times that I've seen that everyone has agreed with this practice because um, when you look at the comments and you see the videos and you see those things, people are putting a fire emojis. People are saying, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm telling you, Overall, you can feel that the vibe of the country, they accept that this is being used as a force to build a canal. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Do? Huh? Do? Wait, wait. 
It seems like there's going to be a huge storm. We're allegedly going home, so I don't even know how because it looks like it's going to storm. A lot of wind, a lot of dust flying everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're about to head out, I guess. We didn't get one more machine up Okay, we're gonna buy some food from over there because there's a lot of vendors here. So we're gonna get some barbecue and then we're gonna head out because it looks like it's gonna storm. <laughs>